What's up, everybody? It's your favorite neighborhood music producer, DJ, and overall badass, Furious Styles. And today, I have a really good review for you. So the folks over at Dark Silence hit me up and said, hey, do you want to try out our new contact library? And me, I'm like, sure. Let's give it a whirl. So they sent over the Dark Grand Piano. And I got to say, this thing sounds amazing. It's really luscious right from the get-go. Um, you don't really have to do too much to get that real signature EDM piano sound that you could use inside your track. The interface is exactly what you would need when you want to process your pianos. We have delay. We also have our pre-delay as well as our reverbs, which are nice to get the pianos to fit more in the mix, as well as the size of the reverb and this wonderful knob that I love using, which is the extra verb. Now, what also astonished me about this plugin is that it comes with an attack, decay, sustain, and release. Uh, and that right there is very, very uh, versatile and makes it very, um, how do I say, useful, in my opinion, to, to fit your pianos better in the mix. Maybe sometimes you want a real stabby piano or plucky piano, then by all means, you know, let's shorten the attack. You know, if you want a long decay, then, you know, we, we obviously lengthen the decay. And the sustain, the lusciousness, we bring out here, as well as uh, the release. How quick do we want the piano to release, which is nice. On the right side, it also has an equalizer here, which is phenomenal when you want to get your pianos to sit even more comfortable in the mix. So in my opinion, it has everything I would need inside just one plugin to get the piano to fit in the mix, essentially the way that you would want it to fit. So with that being said, uh, I've been using this um, sample library on a new track that I've been writing. And I have to say, I'm very happy. As you could see right out the gate, I'm literally just using the init preset. And I have to say, it's amazing. So I'm going to solo what I have here, which is the pianos here. I mean, it sounds so luscious. So there's some chords that I have written right there. And what I want to do is I have a drop line over here that I'm working on. And with that drop line, I realized something else. I have the pianos playing during the chord progression, but I need them to play during the drop line as well. I feel like it would be uh, very beneficial, you know, to have those as well in the drop line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just copy over this dark grand right here, and I am going to put it over here. Okay, so we copied over the Dark Silence Dark Grand Piano over to our Drop MIDI. And this is essentially a progressive house track. And when writing progressive house, I always like to have a live element within my drop uh, you know, line. So whether it's a piano, an organ, uh, some strings, it doesn't matter. I like to always have an organic instrument within that. Sometimes I'll definitely use two. For this track, I'll definitely use some violins within the drop as well. But with that being said, I have soloed the drop right now and I'm actually gonna take out the Dark Grand, which it already is out, and I'm gonna let you hear the drop and then we're gonna add the Dark Grand in. Okay, so now that's the drop without the Dark Grand, and now we're gonna put the Dark Silence Dark Grand within it, and we'll see what kind of uh, sounds we get. <laughs> and right off the bat, you can see it actually fills that frequency that we have missing within the drop line. Now. Our goal is, it sounds great right off the bat, and that's that's fine, but our goal is, how do we fit it even better within the mix? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start working within the GUI. Is it the GUI? 
I don't even know. Hey, maybe let me know if it's GUI or if it's just GUI. I think it's GUI, but let me know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna work within the uh, GUI. I'm gonna call it GUI, I like that. I'm gonna work within the GUI and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. So here it goes. Okay, well that leads us into the equalizer of the GUI of Dark Grand Piano. What I wanna do is I wanna to go to our equalizer and I wanna fit this in even more efficiently into our drop line. So here we go. In my opinion, that sounds great. Now you might be saying to yourself, man, the piano's really loud. Yeah, right now it has to be so that I could dial in everything effectively so that that way once it's effectively dialed in, I could turn it down. Now I put it into solo mode because I wanna hear how much delay that we're gonna be working with within this uh, contact library. I'm not familiar with it. So this is my first stab at hearing the extremities of the delay. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable it and we're gonna go from there. My ears already are telling me to back off a little bit. And here's the thing, when it comes down to the delay or when it comes down to mixing pianos in general, I'm a big fan of adding a uh, delay to the piano for sure to get that width. So um, I don't know exactly what delay am I working on quarter notes, 16th notes, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It sounds great for the moment. And if I need to change out the delay, then I will go ahead and nuke the delay and add in uh, a third party. But for right now, I seem to like what's going on and uh, we'll move from there, you know? I am a huge fan. If you ask any of my students over at the Audio Surgeons Music Academy, I am a huge fan of pre-delay. So with that being said, I'm gonna actually enable the reverb. Uh, I turned off the extra verb because I don't wanna use that right now but I want to work with the pre-delay on the standard reverb. So here it goes. And, and essentially, if you guys don't know about pre-delay, what happens is this. Uh, if you have a reverb with no pre-delay, say zero milliseconds of pre-delay, what happens is when the sound hits, the reverb automatically triggers, okay? Which means it's gonna cover up the attack, it's gonna cover up the mids, it's gonna cover up the sustaining tail end, it's gonna cover everything. Now what the pre-delay does is it adds a gap, okay? It adds milliseconds of a gap between when the actual instrument hits to when the reverb actually turns on. Use your pre-delays mathematically. So time it to the exact tempo of your track. There's a huge tip for you. Let's go back to our, to our sound, initial sound here. No, I don't, I don't, I want a little bit. That's our size, how big is the reverb? And I'm literally just dialing it in by ears. Okay, so with that being said, I'm Furious Styles, and I want to say thank you for taking the time to check out my Dark Silence Dark Ram Piano Review. It's an amazing piano emulation for contact. I would highly suggest it for your projects. Now, I want to make a special shout out to all my Audio Surgeons alumni out there, as well as to my fans and my friends. I love all of you guys. Thank you for everything. If you guys want, make sure you check out my SoundCloud at Furious Styles Official or my Instagram, Furious Styles Official as well. So guys, it's nothing but love from me to you. And if you love the hat, make sure you comment below. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Peace.